to echo the words of the melon himself, Anthony Fantano. This new Predator movie? It's not good. And I'm not really sure what happened here, but this thing is a bit of a disaster. And based on the stuff I'd heard, I knew it probably wasn't gonna be great, but I didn't expect this. I mean, there's very few redeeming qualities to talk about here. So let's just get those out of the way first, I guess. It seemed like the actors were doing their best. They're not bad for the most part. And the cinematography is decent. That's uh, that's about it. Oh, I forgot. There's actually like two good jokes in there too. But just about everything else in this is varying shades of bad. And I just wonder what exactly happened here. Because the last Predator movie, Predators, was actually pretty decent. And Shane Black does know how to make a good movie. Now I'm personally not a huge fan of his movies. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and The Nice Guys. But I recognize they're well-made movies. And that a lot of people like them. They just didn't click for me. But they're definitely not disasters. And he also wrote Iron Man 3, which I personally liked a lot. So again, the man knows how to write and direct. So why is this a complete mess? I mean, I got a feeling he was going for sort of good bad, but just ended up with bad bad. Either that or he intentionally sabotaged it, for reasons I'm not aware of. But either way, I can't just blame him either. I mean, he wrote this mess, so a lot of it is on him. Yeah, actually, I guess most of it is on him. But even things like the special effects are super shaky. I mean, a lot of the CGI looks terrible in this. And it's actually a fairly gory movie, but it all just looks completely fake. And there's some awful, very obvious green screen action too. And the score just sounded so dated and uninspired too. This thing needed something a lot more modern and impactful. Not that that would have saved it, because yeah, the biggest issue by far is the writing. It's just terrible. I mean, the story is stupid, sure. They try to cram in some lore and backstory and very little of it make any sense. And the way they got the kid involved in the story is absurd. Autism is apparently a superpower now, I guess. And yeah, everything about this is ridiculous. But I pretty much expected that. I don't expect the story in a movie like this to make that much sense. But the characters and the dialogue in this thing, Jesus Christ, everyone's basically a dude, bro. It doesn't matter who they are. A scientist in charge of the secret government alien operation. He's a dude bro. Evolutionary biologist. She's a dude bro. Traumatized soldier. He's a dude bro. Not traumatized soldier. A dude bro. It doesn't matter. Even the mom is basically a dude bro in disguise. I guess the kid isn't. Eh, even he shows some signs of dude bro here and there. Oh, and most of them are incompetent idiots too. The least incompetent probably being Olivia Munn's character. She even had a line that showed some sign of not being completely idiotic. But then of course the next line just fucked that right up. And hey, turns out that the idiotic part is a key component to the plot. Oh, I almost forgot about the shoehorned environmental message too. That was a real treat. Apparently the planet's gonna be uninhabitable in a generation or two. Yeah, I don't think even the most radical climate scientist would agree with that. And I didn't even mention what passes as comedy in this thing. Your mom jokes, Tourette's, and diarrhea bits that literally come out of nowhere. And children blowing up random people for very little reason. Of course, they did also take the time to set up a sequel too, which is one of the few jokes in there that actually worked. So this whole thing is a genuine disaster on pretty much every level. But what baffles me the most about this movie is that no one stepped in and said, excuse me, what are you doing? I mean, we live in a world where directors and writers get fired and replaced left and right, especially with big franchises like this. But with this one, they just said, let him do his thing. It'll be fine. Or maybe they did step in and started giving notes. So he just said, fuck it and took all the notes and just went crazy with it. That would actually make sense to me, because he's obviously a fan of black comedy and subtle humor. So maybe this whole thing is just one big joke, or maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Anyway, the movie's terrible. Just an awful mess. One of the worst mainstream movies I've seen this year. Oh, and just to clarify, my criticism isn't based on any particular love for the original movie either. Mainly because I'm not sure I've even seen it. I might have as a kid when I was like eight. 
So this is just me reviewing this basically as a standalone film with no nostalgia attached to it or anything. Shane Black didn't ruin my childhood, but he did steal an hour 45 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. So I guess the joke's on me. Would I recommend it? Nope. I mean, it's not even good bad. It's just bad. So skip this one or don't. I'm not your dad.